cappuccino, please. Yeah. Oh, they don't have the same as me. Yeah. They want to be like me. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. 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 As you can gather by the menu board behind us, we've left Alison at home. She's starving, no food in the house. <laughs> and we're having breakfast. Reese needs gel in his hair. He looks better at that. Oh, look. <laughs> I can't have him on the screen too long. I think worse when uh, you've got a piece of equipment, you've paid good money for it, and it fails you. It breaks down, and you're in a rural location, and you've got no one to repair it. And um, there is an, a solution to it. And the solution is to, in this case, is the wacker plate that is broken down. And the solution would be to have an electric wacker plate. And for some of you landscapers out there, you're going to say an electric wacker plate. Well, there is one, and we're going to be bringing it to you very, very soon. We're going to do a full box review. See you soon. January, isn't it? Yeah. January the ninth. Is it January ninth? Tenth. Yeah. Well, um, things have progressed in a different direction. Um, as you know, that uh, our uh, subcontractor Josh Burrows, known as Ashtag Burrows, said, Ashtag Burrows said, because he's always coming up with uh, lots of prophetic uh, meanings and sayings and everything. And then we have Reese the Geek, Ashtag the Geek. But we have a new member of the team that's going to come and join us on a part time basis. And his name is Lewis. Lewis. I'm going to say his surname because you laugh at that. But he's got a new hashtag, and he ain't gonna like it. But it's what is it, John? Hashtag the bitch. Appropriate. Yeah, it's just uh, some people say that uh, that's not appropriate calling members of your staff uh, the bitch. But I feel that it's just a bit of banter, isn't it? And uh, it depends how he takes it. At the moment, I'm not sure how he's taking it. Well, I'd imagine a bitch takes it quite well, John. If we did this job. What we what we tend to do is that. Um, always with all our customers they always end up with more than what they expect there's a few jobs that we've done in this garden that they didn't expect us to do um, i'm not going to go into that but there's a lot more and one of the jobs is that they asked us well i, I offered to put the, the shed together the sort of thing that as a landscaper that you, you do and uh, it goes a long way sometimes it doesn't it's not appreciated but in this case it's more than appreciated there have been really really nice uh, clients and uh, lovely young family and uh, they deserve to be looked after. Are you on Johnny? I know not this is. I know I should be on the ladder but the fact is I haven't got one. And uh, we put this um, B and Q shed together and uh, they want a shed that they can put the kids uh, bikes and play things and what have you. But if you look... It's so friendly, nothing fits out, should be. You know, we fold it, the door doesn't fit in the frame, you've got to cut it down, and we've got to put the pressure on, we've got to grind it. If you can get there, we need to go decently. And uh, you'll get your paper, it's the same landscape business, you know, if you want your time, they've got me, you've got a cheap price. It could reflect in the quality of the work as well. So, the moral story, it's uh, cheaper than yours too. But I don't need to be an answer. Shed together as a good girl gesture, and uh, as per usual, what we find with these sheds is that we always always get the same shed, but normally it comes from places like B and Q, um, and it looks alright from the outside, but nothing fits, nothing measures. One piece of timber is supposed to be one meter six hundred ninety, and it wasn't it was one meter six hundred forty. So the fact is, everything what they say that's supposed to be in the pack, it doesn't come. So the I suppose the thing is that you know you want to um, can I have a drill, please. I think that the point is you want to be um, seen as being a real good contractor and keeping clients happy and everything, doing those little extras for them, like you know. But the trouble is, in this situation, we're putting the shed together, and when it's not right, and it's nothing to do with this, it's the shed in respect of the manufacturing process and what have you, and then you can get drawn in on something because something isn't arrived or something is in here, and you know, or wood's damaged, and you'll be, you know, so that's entirely up to you where you want to play that, whether you want to do something or whether you don't. back in the office and uh, it's difficult to try and uh, not necessarily find you material to show you what I'm actually doing at the moment uh, but I've been having lots of questions about uh, why I'm doing it and some people 
enjoying it and wanting more and that's fine you know and I really appreciate those of you that have, have been watching and uh, I think the fact is that what I'm trying to do is uh, hopefully inspire uh, some of you guys out there to sort of head in the right direction and um, you can be sidetracked so much when you're working in this business and uh, it's important to get it right because when you get it right it brings success and uh, it brings happiness that's the most important thing as well and it's about succeeding and um, whatever you do and whatever standard that you reach and it's fine so for me hopefully I will inspire lots of people out there by showing them what we're doing how we're doing it and you know I can be challenged about how we go about things and all the things that we do is not may not be your cup of tea but what it does it, it brings the bucks in at the moment and uh, it has for a long time and uh, whatever our customers ask us to do we um, we do it and we achieve it whatever standard it doesn't matter whether it's for that little old lady who just wants something uh, wants a garden gate painted or a new gate being put in or maybe a couple of little slabs or a, a little ramp so those big garden maker was like the one recently we did over in uh, Cumbran and uh, it was a big job and I like them but I also like the jobs where we move on quickly you know and uh, in and you're out and uh, you're not hanging around and you're not sort of the other thing is well you know um, uh, with the landscape vlogs in uh, America they, they do a different type of work out there it's uh, they do a lot of snow pushing this time of the year there's a lot of lawn care guys out there and uh, it's great, I enjoy watching it, you know, and uh, it's it's a different ball game here, you know, I, I spend a little bit of time in the States and I spend a little bit of time in Australia, and even there, though they're very similar to us, um, it's still very different, and uh, they do things in a different way, and certainly in Australia, they are really laid back about things, you know, I noticed with the Brits, we're really, we're there, 100 mile an hour, and uh, we are, you know, and not all of us, <laughs> some of us, uh, we introduced, uh, a new worker today and uh, we're going to give him a chance, we take him on a part-time basis initially and just see how he gets on and uh, lovely kid and uh, I like it, he's a young man, he's 19, he's had a bit of a traumatic period recently, he lost his friend and uh, I felt that it was necessary to put my arm around, my around his shoulder and just bring him on and um, head in the right direction with him and uh, show him the way forward because uh, he needs that at the moment and uh, if he's with me for a short period it may help him and uh, he showed good signs today, you know, and he knows how to speak to customer, well-mannered, polite, and uh, that's part of the package. It's no good just being good at something if you're a, a miserable so-and-so, you know, and uh, you've got to be polite, you've got to be helpful, and uh, it makes a massive difference. And when you've got a group of guys around you like that, it just speaks volumes. <laughs>